Thanks so much, you guys. So we've got our last piece for the night coming up right now. Uh, we're going to do the piece entitled Tutankhamun's Silver Trumpet. And uh, this is where uh, Chris is going to do his, uh, his thing on the trumpet. So thanks so much again for being here tonight. This is our last one. Thanks for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. I just want to say one thing about um, Chris and his wonderful trumpet. So we're going <laughs> we're to be doing this piece that's um, uh, based on what Tutankhamun's, the trumpet in Tutankhamun's tomb uh, could have sounded like. So you can see on the silver trumpet, there's no valves on this trumpet. Um, we think of a, a modern trumpet as having valves. So Chris, rock for a second with the valves. Oh, okay. Yeah. So here we, with valves. Yeah, with valves. So a lot of valves there. Yeah. So he's got all that, you know, he's got so much stuff he can do with the valves. And things that the valves do is they create different, oh, Chris, you should say this. I don't know. What do valves do on the trumpet? Uh, they, they just throw the air through these different tubes and allow me to play different notes. But when I play without the valves, I'm limited very much by what I can do. Like on this next tune, I'll only be able to use about seven notes. And that's without any valves. So I'll have to kind of interact with these other musicians with just those notes and figure out a way to make that. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. and so, right, and the reason why that's significant is because obviously this trumpet has no valves on it. So whoever was playing it would have um, been limited by... Um, whatever the the overtone series of that conical tube would be. So with with this trumpet though, where he's going to play only what he's doing, you'll see his hand on his valves, but he's not using the valves. It's all with the lips, which is amazing. So you'll hear him playing, and that obviously. Oh yeah, well, you know, yeah. So do what you're going to do with no. Do something with no valves. Oh, okay. So yeah. just I'll have these notes at my disposal. Disposal only. Without that last beat, uh, just the. <laughs> Grady wants to cheat so badly on this. He just wants to so please let me use like, the valves. Yeah. Okay. But this horn won't shatter when I. Right. <laughs> Unless he plays something super amazing. Right. So, those um, are the only notes <laughs> so anyway, so that's that's how we're kind of replicating the sound. We're also um, going to be doing something in uh, somewhat pentatonic tuning, which is a five-note series of tuning. Can we can you play a pentatonic? Play a pentatonic. Is what we're doing? Yeah. So it's a common tonal series that was um, thought to have been used in ancient Egypt, and there's a, a variety of ways that people have researched that, but it has to do with um, uh, different positions of people's fingers on ancient uh, art renderings on the harps and other various factors as well about the foot, but that's uh, for a later, a later date. Anyway, we're going to be using that pentatonic um, mode in our piece tonight, and then Chris is going to be doing his, his thing with the trumpet. So Micah has a very important role in this as well, as when he's with his foot, he's going to be playing um, an approximation of the rattle, the system that we had pictured. Um, so you'll hear that as well in here.
Pascrini. Thanks so much again. Oh. Thank you, everybody. Chris Grady, trumpet. Sarah Zaharica, violin. Rachel Conkrey, clarinet. Steve Adams, saxophone flute. Michael McLean, percussion. Kimri Sanko, piano. Thanks so much again, everybody. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.